Hey, shalom, shalom. I'm not gonna wah a bar. Shalom, walakim la tam. Kasha boy baruchah wa kaksha yahawa bahasham yahawa shab ma'amad, which is truly the Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out through the spirit and power of yahawa bahasham yahawa shab to preach to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, <coughs> Native Americans, West Indians, Haitians, there's life on us. Nacham atam kaya hamalakwa thashamayim kora repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is a ham. Call I am La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah Bahasham Racha Kodash Wa Mashanaka Badim to claim Nawa Wamala Akim Shoya Shalazu claim Racha Gadawa Wa Hasa Wa Shalomama Brakim Laha Baharim Shoha Gawi Asha Shalom. Our so all praise to the Most High Yahweh, which means He exists. Bahasham in the name Yahweh Shai delivers. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Israel, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, mercy, peace, and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom, which means peace. This is the Holyum. Also, Psalms chapter 73, and we'll give verse 1. It says, Truly the Most High is good to Yasha Allah, even to such as are of a clean heart. All right, and the clean heart going into, um, you know, being washed from the uh, the ways of the world. All right, subscribing to the ways of the scriptures, you know, walking in um, that good way. I already mentioned in Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 6, and verse 16. It says, But as for me, my feet, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well, well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. All right, and what is the prosperity of the wicked referring to? Let's get um, we get Proverbs chapter one, and let's get verse um, uh, let me see, verse thirty one. All right, it says uh, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, going into uh, you know, the wicked, you know, two thirds. It says therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. All right, and that prosperity going into, let me see, it should be Shalom or Salak Shalawa. All right, so quietness, ease, prosperity. All right, abundance. It says genuine or false. All right, so going into that false sense of security. All right, because they they getting, you know, they're getting uh, you know, the so called goodies of that um, you know, quietness or or uh let me see they get a so-called goodies of the, the abundance of you know being careless in this babylonian society all right it says to uh it says to prosper all right successful successful in wickedness you see it says thoughtless go astray you know so they are comfortable in uh going astray all right uh the way that's not good all right the scriptures say there's a way uh, that seemeth right unto a, unto a man but the end there are, are the ways of death you see so two thirds is comfortable in that um in that particular lifestyle. All right, going back, this is the Hoyim Psalm seventy three, and uh, we'll go back to verse three. It says, "Or slot." I wanted to get this. This is Ecclesiastes chapter eight, <clears throat> and we'll get verse eleven. It says, "Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil, though a sinner do." Evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. But it, sh it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. It's a lot. But feareth before the Most High. All right, and ultimately that's going into, you know, that, that so called prosperity, you see, because they're not being uh, judged for that ease, that carelessness, you know, that going astray. Uh, that pre in that present moment, you see, but the, the Lord is allowing them to, you know, get add up a tab, you know, so which they're going to have to, you know, pay for that. Because the scriptures say that, you know, the Lord re rewards a man according to their ways. All right. Continuing on, it says, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. You see, why is that strength for firm? All right. Going into, uh, you know, chiefly or going into the wicked Esau, Edom. All right. That strength is firm. The Lord put him in that position because we know from Ayahuab, Job. Chapter 9 and verse 24, all right, it says, uh, The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he, you see. So the earth was given into, into the, the hand of the wicked, the so-called white man. That's why his strength is firm. You know, the Lord set him there, um, you know, in that particular uh, position. All right, and we know this because of this precept. Let me see. All right, this is uh, it's a lot. This is Daniel Allah Daniel chapter. Let me see. All 
It's actually Daniel chapter four and verse 17. So it says this matter is by the decree of the watchers and by the demand and by Salah. And the, the demand by the word of the Holy Ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it up over even the basis of men, you see. So the Lord put them in that position, you see. All right, continuing on. This is the Holyum Psalm, chapter 73. And let's get verse, uh, go back to verse 4 or verse 5. It says, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they played like other men. You see, the, the, the so-called white man doesn't have to worry about the same um, life struggles as Jake. You see, they don't have... To worry about uh, uh, inheritances, you know, their strength is firm. You know, they, they get they got these things to pass down to their generations after generations. That's, that's why they, they have what is called uh, old money, you see. And Jake don't have those types of things, you know, due to the curses, you see. So they're not in trouble uh, like Jake, you know, and they even better than the, um, you know, the other heathen nations. All right. So it says in, in that uh, regard, it says, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain, you see, because. It says, therefore, you know, when you go into his word, therefore, it should be Kaya or it's, it's Khan. It says, therefore, thus, so, so essentially, and it says in such case. All right. So the reason that, that pride compasses them is because they're in this spirit right here. Let's get that real fast. This is uh, Ezekiel, Yachazak Allah chapter. Let me see where it's at. Chapter 28. And I'm going to give verse two. It says, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, which can be likened to Esau, Edom. It says, Thus said the Lord power, behold, or so like, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am I am a, a power, I send the seed of power in the midst of the seas, and thou art a man, not the and not the most high, though thou set thine heart as the most high. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom, and with thine understanding thou hast gotten thee riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures by thy great wisdom or thy left hand knowledge and by thy traffic going into the business has thou increased thy riches and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches you see so going back to the Hagim Psalm chapter 73 and verse 5 or verse 6 it says therefore pride compasses them about as a chain you see because they not play like other men and they're in that particular position so that's why they feel as if they got their left hand knowledge hey, so they, they feel like they're unstoppable so it says it says violence covered them as a garment. Hey, that's how Esau Edom lived. It says um, when he got that blessing, you know, from um, Isaac, all right, his blessing was the sword. All right. And that's why it says violence co covered them as a garment, because how does he get everything that he, he's got on the earth, you know, through violence? All right. Setting up different uh, um, legislations and stuff like that to go into these different countries and bombing them and stuff like that through violence. All right. It says that their their eyes stand out with fatness, all right, because Esau has a fatness of the earth, pursuing back to uh, Barbara Asha, the Genesis. Their, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the heart could, could wish. All right. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. You see, so Esau has everything you know, that he wants on, on, on his earth. You see, they have more than, than what they need. You know, that's why you you see a lot of videos, you know, Esau, he, he be, jump off of a, a ramp, you know, into a valley, a mountain valley, you know, and uh, have a parachute and then just waste the damn, uh, you know, like the the motorbike, you see, because he has the time and the money to do that stuff, going into how they have more than the heart could wish. It says they are corrupt, all right, and they speak wickedly concerning the oppression, you see, they're corrupt, you see. Um, I believe since Psalms 53, it talks about how... Um, the wicked go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, roughly paraphrasing. It says they speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily, you see. So they'll tell you, hey, forget about slavery, you see. But for 9-11, uh, they like it's like never forget. All right. Continuing on, it says they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. And their tongue walks through the earth by through those law laws and legislations in their lifestyle. All right. And also going back into verse eight, it says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. All right, because they'll essentially actually let me, let me go into his word. Oppression, it says I shock. It says gain by extortion. It says unjust, cruelly distress. All right, let me go back. Get us in another version. NLT, it says they scoff and speak only evil. In their pride, they seek to crush others. All right. It says they are corrupt and speak wickedly, wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Eh? So a way they speak uh, uh, wickedly concerning oppression, you know, they write the different laws and stuff like that. And then 
you know, if they were, they're questioned about it, you know, they, they'll have something negative to say about it. All right. Because ultimately their laws and legislations of how they speak is against Jake. You see, that's how it's um, speaking wickedly concerning oppression. All right. And then they'll speak loftily about that as well. You know, as if Jake uh, is deserving of that, you see, which we deserve everything for our sins, you see. But on Esau's behalf, you know, he's going to be punished for his unjust uh, system and how he's running this earth. All right. But I just wanted to go into that. I don't want to Zaza about now your pop. Lord's will that was a beautiful edification through the spirit. Wow, I don't want to za a thumb um yash like lots of wab lords we all have a good night. I'm gonna close it up by saying call light la Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah Basham Kha Kodasha double honest a thousand apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and rule well and much respect to you bros out there pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom Shalom Wa Yahweh Mahar La Bachayaryam. Hey God speed to the elect, eh? Shalom.